Hey, what's going on guys? I have this Passport GT travel trailer to show you. This is the 2951BH model, and it comes in weighing at 6,535 pounds with a length of 33 feet, four inches. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick outside tour, and then I'm gonna show you what the inside is all about. So here at the front, we have our power tongue jack. Your two propane tanks are just behind there, and you even have this uh, casing to help protect it. Spot for your battery is also behind your propane tanks. Diamond plating at the bottom of your nice smooth front cap. And this does have the industry's best three year limited structural warranty with Keystone. Zero slide outs on your camping side. And you also have the magnetic latch and slam latch doors into your pass through storage. So great spot for camping chairs, maybe a bike can fit in there, uh, strollers, uh, umbrellas, fishing rods, you name it, it probably could fit in here. So really awesome that you have that. Huge power awning as well that does have an LED light strip, so it looks pretty awesome at night. Two entrances into this camper. Your main entrance has those solid steps. These are really great for if you had a knee or hip replacement surgery or just having little kids or uh, pets running in and out of the camper. You even have a helper handle for some stability getting in. You are pre-wired for solar on this coach and you even have uh, front and rear power stabilizer jacks and this also has the extended season camping. So this thing is loaded. Satellite and cable hookup underneath your awning plus some power so you can have a TV out here if you would like. And I'm gonna try to open this up without making you guys sick. You have an outside kitchen, so mini fridge, open cubby storage for your plates and utensils. And then just underneath you have a couple burners as well. Then there is the second entrance, spare tire, a storage entryway, which I'll talk about a little bit more on the inside, but you can access it from here on the outside. And you are pre-wired for a backup camera. One slide out here on your non-camping side. And I think that covers everything. So let's take a look at the inside. All right, so as soon as we walk in and through our main entrance is our master bedroom. Queen size bed that does lift up for that extra storage underneath. And tables are on both sides and they're already pretty large compared to your normal uh, nightstands and tables, whatever you wanna call it. The one here on the left is extra long because you have this drawer in there. Closet lockers are on both sides to hang up your clothes. I'll show you what that looks like. Built-in clothes rack and you even have a shelf. You can also access that shelf through these cabinets right here because it does extend all the way across. So just even more space for your clothes that you wanna bring. And then both sides have power and USB ports so you can charge your electronics while you are sleeping or if you have a sleep app machine. And then across from me is a spot for a TV bracket here in your bedroom. Two opposing sliding doors with a magnetic latch for some extra privacy too, especially if your kids are getting pretty rowdy and you wanna take a nap. And then just outside your bedroom entrance, you just have some additional storage. Uh, you can adjust these shelves however you want. You can even take them out. And you have a built-in clothes rack for more closet storage. So. You can use this for uh, living room space, kitchen space, or even just your clothes and stuff in there. Same thing down below. And then coming into our main portion of our camper, huge U-shaped dinette, very comfortable and cozy, great for big families, board game nights, dinners, everything like that. You also have power and USB ports built in the base of it, so you can still charge those electronics if you need to. And you have drawers underneath the seats. So even more storage. And then the price comes out to be $36,985 for everything. This also folds down into a sleeping spot. So one, maybe two people can sleep there very comfortably. Cross from there into our kitchen. Uh, you have this extended countertop space if you need it. The nice roll-up cover. You actually have two of them. So great spot for your uh, dishes to dry or just that extra countertop space. Black matte finish on the faucet, which is my favorite. Spray nozzle, more countertop space, a rather large window as well. Cabinets up above, microwave, range hood, three burner top stove, and it does have this glass cover. So when you are ready to use this, 
you want to turn your burners on without the glass um, on there so nothing breaks but it uses but you can use it as a backsplash if I can speak today so you can wipe off grease or anything that splatters on there pretty pretty nicely storage down below for all your pots and pans and then we got our refrigerator Coming into our living room space, huge swivel TV that does have additional hidden storage there in the back. Cabinet space up above, so you can put your board games there, uh, DVDs, anything that you want. And then across, we have our sleeper sofa. So this will uh, fold down to another sleeping spot for anyone who wants to stay with you. And before I forget, you have the uh, pull-down blackout shades, which is really awesome. Coming towards the back, you have your double over double bunks. So two kiddos can sleep per bunk, again, depending on size and comfortab comfortability, if that's even a, a word. Uh, two windows, so one per bunk. So each one has a nice view and some natural light coming in. This bottom bunk is pretty unique because it does fold up and latch. So you can take advantage of that outside uh, storage space and put bikes and stuff in here, anything that you want, maybe canoes, uh, and you have this privacy curtain as well, so you can block it off if you are using this bottom bunk for that additional storage. The closet space for your kids is right next to the bathroom. Like the other one up front, you have the removable shelves, built-in clothes rack. And then, not far off from your bunks, you have your bathroom. So, sink, storage down below and above in your medicine cabinet. Second entrance, now a lot of people love the second entrance from the outside into the bathroom because it cuts down on the foot traffic. Uh, if your kids are running outside getting dirty or if you have guests over at your site and they need to use the restroom, this is just perfect for it. Foot flush toilet and then of course your shower. Nice coiled up shower curtain, it's pretty awesome skylight up above as well and it is kind of on an angle so taller people can fit in there pretty comfortably but there you have it the 2951 bh passport uh any questions or concerns uh feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help